with me? Sam, you agree with me? Let's go to our vision, our vision statement. to run a couple of errands after church and we went to Sam's and got some scalloped potatoes and this is what they look like you just put them in the microwave and then this is the rotisserie chicken and then I just made some Brussels sprouts in the microwave and these are the steamables that come from Kroger in the frozer the freezer section I'm sorry and you just uh, put them in the microwave and they steam for like five minutes five six minutes I put some Mrs. Dash and some saison and you can put a little bit of garlic powder on there too and then i put butter in here too so this is sunday dinner Look at this. Isn't this cute? This is so pretty. I love this packaging. And yes, our dear sweet sister at church got me this for my birthday. She got me a birthday gift. It says birthday wishes. This is such a pretty box. And she makes body butter. She's not quite ready to sell it broadly yet, so I won't mention, you know, the name or anything, but she does great work. And yeah, I love lemon, y'all know that. And she remembered too. It smells so good. She uses real lemon too. It smells amazing. And she got me nail polish. Y'all know I love nail polish, so thank you so much, Nikki. Isaiah has been back at school in person for about three weeks now. So, are you enjoying being at school rather than at home? Sure. Dang, we got all these teachers now. We're not even going to be able to park for real. For... But tomorrow, Isaiah goes to the new building. Are you excited about that? Are yeah. you excited about that? School. Isaiah. You just said if we hadn't let you gone, you would have been so mad. I said, are you excited? Yeah. That's the new building over there. You know you're excited. It's a new school. Okay, so then if you had to stay home, it would have been all right. Not really, because I wanted to get back to school. No. That don't mean I'm excited. I just wanted to get back to school. Okay, you are excited to be going to the new building. See, now that's not telling the truth. You are. You know good and well you're excited about going to the new building. Who wouldn't be? Words in my mouth. Right. 
All right, bye, guys. That was the game today. Hey, guys. It is Monday, and I am... Is it Monday? Yes, it is Monday. I am losing track of days. Um, yesterday was Sunday. Took y'all to church a little bit with me. And um, what else did we do after... I say right after church, we went to Sam's and a couple other stores. We had to get a mount for the TV in the kitchen. We're putting a bigger TV on the wall in the kitchen, so we had to get a mount for that. And then, what else? Um, went to Sam's and got some dinner food. Y'all, I got the potatoes that were at Sam's. Certain things that I've been wanting to get because I've seen them at Sam's. But they're more like convenience food, but more homestyle convenience food, which I cooked. Which I cooked, you know, my own stuff from mostly homemade. I usually cook my foods from homemade. Some of them are semi-homemade. Some of them is from box every now and then. <laughs> but um, anyway, those convenience type things that I wanted to get a long time ago when I just couldn't afford to get a lot of that stuff. I got those potatoes, the scalloped potatoes from Sam's. They were $9 and something for a box. And they tasted pretty good. I put a little bit more seasoning on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we like our stuff seasoned. So I put a little bit more salt and um, the cracked, the salt, the, the grind, grinded salt from the salt grinder and um, a little bit of Italian seasonings and I think that's it salt and Italian seasoning so that was good we got a rotisserie chicken and uh, I steamed some Brussels sprouts Isaiah can't stand Brussels sprouts so I made him some mixed vegetables some of the steamables that you can get in the frozer set freezer section and put them in the microwave so made him some of those and um, so yeah, had dinner and then we got to painting. We primed the uh, dining room and part of the living room. Got to finish the living room. This morning, Monday morning, I went over to my mom's. Me and my sister met over there. We were rounding up some more stuff. We, we have about five days. Let's see, it's Monday. We have till Thursday to get finish getting the house in order because the house my mother's house goes on the market my mother and father's house go on the market Friday April 2nd so I'm gearing up emotionally for that because it's harder than I thought the rooms are getting empty. I know I've been saying this for months now y'all y'all know we've been cleaning it out and different things like that but there's just a lot of stuff to clean out. They had been in the house since 1973, since I was three years old, and there's just a lot of stuff to go through and to clean out. And my mother saved everything. So, um, it's just a lot. Just a lot. And it's more emotional than I thought because I was walking through the rooms and, you know, you're in there and the rooms are getting emptier and emptier each time and more hollow which the house was filled with things and filled with life filled with love laughter good times all of that for, you know from our parents us children and the grandchildren and great-grandchildren and the great-great-grandchildren so yeah that's a, that's a lot that's a lifetime worth of stuff things they started accumulating when they first got married in the 50s till now so it's a blessing and I am thankful that I got a chance to, to take part and you know help do it it's tiring <laughs> oh we can we was all oh, but it was so funny just because we just been joking about the whole time joking and stuff and we'd be like mama I'm so Sick of this. You left all of this stuff. We just, oh. <laughs> Sick of us. All this time to clean out all this stuff. <laughs> but yeah. It's good times. Good times. And she probably figured that she would leave that behind for us so that we'd have good times going through it. So anywho, I say all that to say 
I was busy with what we're doing now with our house too. So anyway, after this week, those things will be done, you know, for at my mom's house for the most part until we get in the negotiating for the house and um, till it's sold. And what I want to do is I pray that the um, people, I said, I'm going to see if I can get it written in a contract or even just be, just be, I'm, I think I'm nice and kind anyway, but just be nice and kind to the people that are buying it and ask them if they would please let us or let me or let us come back and see the house once they do whatever they're going to do with it um i hope a family gets it i really you, you want somebody that's going to get it put some love into it but you never know if somebody is going to buy it and flip it which i guess a family will end up getting it but you know I would just be so curious as to what the house would look like after somebody gets it and fixes it up, changes it, or whatever, you know? So, and, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that the people, too, are interested in who lived there before them. Yeah, I'm always interested in that kind of stuff, so. Anyway, we're on our way to Isaiah's game right now. He has another game, so... This is the second game of the season, and when we're on our way, my husband's um, driving the truck. I am riding in the car because we're going to stop by my mom's house and pick up the mirror that is above the fireplace in at at her house at her and my mom at her and my father's home. The big mirror, it's a big glass mirror, is over the fireplace, and I'm going to bring it home and put it over my fireplace. And I am more than excited about that. And also, there's like a little buffet type of thing. I'm going to put it um, in my house too. It used to be in the bar area of my mom and dad's house, and um, my, my father had built this little room in the back of the rec of the rec room in their basement. And yeah. I am going to, I'm trying to look at my husband clapping up there. What is he clapping at? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to put the buffet in my house. So, and I'll show it to y'all and let y'all know what it is once I get it all fixed up and in there. But excited about that. We have about four days to do what we have to do to the house. Um, the house goes on the market Friday. Happy but sad. I know my mother would want a family to have it and to treat it as a, you know, have a good home there. That would be her desire, my father's too, but you never can, you can't help who gets the house. And um, so just hoping somebody will get it that will love it and take care of it and have as much many good times as we did. So it's an emotional time, of course. Um, we, we're still working on our house. So it's a lot going on. I couldn't really make videos real good and stuff that's why i haven't been bringing a lot of content because we have been super super busy yeah a lot going on and uh i will bring y'all along for some of it if i can okay.